Morning, everybody. It is the 1122 Wing Nut Radio out here for Anarchy Television. It is now the day after. The, the 6th. It is the 7th of January, 2021. And, um, there was a shitload of people in D.C. yesterday. And, um, and our house was being protected and by uh, uh, by these order followers from us the people that own that house we the people paid for that that building that's our house it's not the politicians house it's not their building it's ours So, when we the people go into that house, that's our property. How dare you people try to keep us out? How dare you people try to make it out to be like we're the fucking terrorists? You politicians and all you order followers out there, you're the terrorists. You are the traitors. You are the traitors you are the problem we the people are not going to take it any longer you know i heard i can't remember exactly what state and uh what the the lady's name is but uh you know there was a there was some uh, i think it was in Idaho or something like that um, where uh, a bunch of um, Patriots were decided to go to what is it the I guess the mayor or the governor's house or whatever and uh, Sit outside on the sidewalk and have a peaceful protest. Well, she didn't like that So she made a public statement what and it was um Now, I may or may not get it right, uh, quoting it, but she said, um, we are gathering evidence, we will hunt down the perpetrators and hold them accountable. Well, using those exact same words, we the people have a message to all you tyrants, all you order followers, or all of you uh, communists, all you um, lunatic people out there calling yourselves politicians, I will use this, uh, um, we the people have a message for you. We are gathering evidence. We are gathering evidence. We will hunt down the perpetrators and we will hold you accountable. Now, did you see that? That's a two way street. You threaten us, we can threaten you right back. Because you sitting there saying, oh, we will hunt down the perpetrators. Well, right off the bat, you just threatened us. 
You just threaten the people that pay your fucking wages, pay your goddamn fucking living out of our labor. You are our servants, not the other way around. That Capitol building is our house. That's our property, not the other way around. We will hold you accountable. This is only the beginning of the end. We will prevail. And to all you people out there that are freedom and liberty and pursuit of property and happiness minded type people stay strong stay vigilant but keep your head on a swivel and locked and loaded because they're gonna try a lot of shit and like I was saying before also you know, when it comes down to warfare, they've already the 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 uh, the elite, these uh, these uh, political elite, these peoples that think they can rule over us like fucking kings and queens, and we just are supposed to comply and obey. They've already declared war on the people. <laughs> you know, almost over a century ago. Not out in the open saying, hey, we declare we're war on the people. No, they haven't done that. They've done it in a secret, you know, behind closed doors, through legislations. And you know damn well that more of these legislations, these these words that are supposed to be, I guess they're like little spells, you know, these words they call laws or statutes or whatever that they write down on a freaking fancy piece of paper and then they sprinkle pixie dust on it and then everybody's supposed to just do as it says and this is the gospel. They're going to try and push more of that kind of shit. The, um, the KGB had a four-step process to its a sub sub uh, subversion of a nation. Step one is to demoralize the nation. All right. You know, that takes about, I don't know, about a generation or a little over a generation to do that, to get the nation just demoralized. They have no morality left, you know, no values Nothing. Step two, destabilize the nation. Where they just basically crush the economy, crush the people's uh, way to make a living and feed themselves. Step three, bring the nation to crisis. They're trying that right now. And and they're they're doing a damn good job of bringing the bringing the whole nation to crisis, you know. Because honestly, I I don't care, you know. When it comes down to that presidency job, I don't give a shit who gets the job. It doesn't matter who gets the job. It, it's never been good for us as a people in this nation. It's never government in all its forms for centuries has never been good for the people of the nations. Step four. Normalize the nation. Bring normalization. 
the uh, <laughs> the uh, you know that term the new normal they're trying to get that stuck in our heads so they can come in and say, well, the nation has been normalized. After they bring in the crisis, and they've demoralized and destabilized. Just like the New World Order's motto. Order out of chaos. Well, it's time for us to flip that script and do it a lot different. And I'm going to tell you, guerrilla warfare is a very good tactic. But since we are not organized, I think we as a people need to start thinking outside the box. Unorganized and unpredictable. But be aware. Every bit of our communications every bit of our travel, every, almost every facet of our lives are being surveilled, controlled. So, we've got to do it different. Keep it under your hat, close to your heart. Remember to remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. I see no reason that the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. And violence can be used for good Evil doesn't have a monopoly on violence. And honestly, if we didn't use violence back in the day, we'd all be speaking British and, and hailing to the Queen. It's time to flip the script, people back to the original, back to the natural and common law and God's law. It's a double one, double two wing nut radio. Back out listening.